Let's rock and roll. I'm gonna put on my glasses so it looks smarter. Okay. Welcome to Far- wait a second, it's not freaking fun. Welcome to Ultimate Survival Gear. Today guys, I wanted to uh, make a very special video. Uh, I wanted to make it for a while, but I wanted to make sure that I have everything kind of lined up all the way. But anyway, let's skip the introduction. We're talking about the fire starters. Yes, the fire starters for your camping, hiking, survival situation, whatever it might be. Something that you can always have with you or maybe not on you somewhere, maybe in the backpack, maybe in your, I don't know, fanny pack, <laughs> whatever, you're, uh, whatever you're into, whatever you're wearing or whatever situation we are talking about. For example, you can have uh, the whole bug out bag, right? Your, your whole hiking um, pack, or you might have something smaller, something like a battle bag that you can carry, you put on quickly and then you're ready to go and you actually are can be in combat in that bag, right? The reason why I do quotes is because I have my plate carrier, I don't know if you can see it from here or not, which already has a module that is a backpack. All right, so let's get into the fire starters. Okay, whenever it comes to survival situations, hacking situations, typically what options we have, right? Now we have our very regular, nothing special, lighter uh -huh. all right we have matches we have strikers right some like this or even smaller and less convenient the strikers that they usually introduce um, implement into tools hiking tools survival kind of tools tool sets or like for example a wearable like this for example paracord bracelet that you can get on Amazon I'll put the link in the description below it already has a striker here in the very center and uh, oh there you go haha <laughs> it works pretty cool and we also have something like Try to freaking open this thing. Something like this, mini inferno. Yes, uh, kind of a pad that you put on whatever, where you want to start a fire, you light up the pad. Here's the thing though, with something like this, you do need to fire it up. So you, you're gonna have to use either the striker or the matches or the lighter. And I actually have something else that I wanted to share in this video. Whenever it comes to the fire starters, and something really cool, something that I, you probably can't hear me, something I discovered pretty recently. No flame, no fuel, lighter. Yes, check this out. It works off of electricity. Yes, in fact, it is rechargeable. So you charge this thing up and uh, you're good to go. Check this out. Yep, and you have this sort of, uh, let's see if I can get a better focus. Oh, there you go. Okay, check this out. So it's kind of like a plasma, blah, whatever, going in between the two posts over here and uh, you can light stuff up. But let's talk about these, all of these things, right? In a little bit uh, more of a detail and kind of uh, go through the considerations. There's another fire starter that I think I kind of want to add but it's a little bit of anyway let's add that all right one more one more we're gonna make it interesting so this one is going to be from my camping kitchen yes and technically it is a fire starter or, in fact, a fire goer, I guess you can say that. I don't think we need that hiking trip. <laughs> ah, ha, there you go. So, a whole stove. Of course, it's not just that, it's also this, which is a gas canister can. Again, we will talk about all of this in a moment in detail. So let's start with the very first, the very basic, the most straightforward thing. 
of course, the lighter. Now it has the fuel, obviously, in it. One of the downsides of this would be, well, you kind of can't see how much is left. It's hard to tell. I mean, you can always buy a new one. You already have a striker, all of it to keep the fire going. You are lighting, lighting something up right uh, what is the downside of getting the fire going with this well the only really downside that you can find besides not being able to see inside how much fuel left which is again not a big deal this thing malfunctioning flying out because there's a lot of stuff going on again not a big deal really being picky the main downside of this is that you need to have something to light up because you're starting a fire right you are so and in a situation where you're, for example, hiking and it's raining and everything is wet, well, you're going to have a little bit of a tough time to get the fire going with this. And that brings me to my kitchen set, because this is really, of everything that we have on this table, this is the only thing that does not need anything to burn. It already has something that it burns constantly, consistently, right? So all you're doing, you are adding your stove, and it's, as you can see, it's very compact, very small, right? You're adding it on top of the fuel canister, you screw it in, Yeah, man. It's leaking. It's freaking leaking somewhere. Oh, I see. This thing was open. All right. So, let's see, you have your controller for the amount of obviously gas leaving the thing, and you have your lighter. Yes, check this out. Is it working? Okay, well, we'll find out. Aha! And there you go. You don't need anything. You don't need any trees, any lighting, fluid, whatever the hell. It's ready to go. Pretty cool. The downsides, obviously, again, yes, you cannot see how much you have left fuel in this. Whatever, no big deal. This do last pretty good. Um, lasts, I mean, depend, depends on how many times you're using it, uh, but I would say a good hundred boils, all right? Might be probably even more than that, but good hundred boils of water in something small, uh, like my uh, camping kitchen, and that's pretty good. So, the, the main downside is that of this thing here, is that it's pretty big, okay? <laughs> so it's not something you will be able to carry on you, it's not something that you will be able to put in your battle bag and just have it all the time. So a little bit of a downside there on the side. Moving on, we have our regular wooden matches. They do the job. They already have something to burn, so you have time to light them up. The downside, Honestly, there is really no downside there. I would say this is one of the things that I would definitely carry in my battle bag and in my bug out camping bag, whatever really it is. This is small, this is lightweight, it's not gonna take off anything and it has a few advantages over your regular lighter. Okay, so let's talk about the strikers now. Honestly, I do like the idea of this it's small, especially if you have something like this on a bracelet, then it completely does not take away any weight or anything really profile, right? The downside of this is you do need to find something that really will catch on fire from the spark. And it might sound easy to just, you know, you, you, you strike it. I'm not having good success with this. Or, or, <laughs> a 
Anyway, with this, if you get it to get uh, yourself a spark going, right, you still need something dry enough or uh, flammable enough in order to catch on fire and uh, get that fire going. And again, if you're on a hike, for example, and it's raining, everything's wet, well, there goes your fire, all right? So that only probably in the emergencies. And again, if you have something like that, have it on something like this that you can actually wear on you. For example, this right here, this little thing is a paracord, all right? It's a compass or compass, it's a whistle, if you need to whistle, if you can't speak, if you can't scream, right? You can whistle with your last breath so that somebody finds you. Uh, it's a cutter over here. And the striker. That actually works. Yeah, better than this freaking Kershaw. Anyway. So yes, for the striker, yes, why not? Something like this, it would be pretty cool. Okay, let's move on now to the, uh, what am I calling? Mini Inferno, all right? These are the pads and I'm gonna open it up and I'll sh show you how they look. These are the pads that are highly flammable. Uh, there's plenty of them in here. I think it's like a hundred pieces. Man, this freaking is like the smallest freaking fond that I can imagine. I can't freaking remove one or more disc from the tin. Okay, so this is the tin. <laughs> remove one or more. So we're gonna remove one if I can freaking get it open. Uh, <laughs> so here's the downside, right? <laughs> you can't freaking get it open. So if you're on a hike, if you are in a survival situation and you need to start the fire quickly, which is this is what it's supposed to do, uh, you can freaking open it. So luckily I'm here in my, uh, at my workbench. So I actually might have just something. Nope, that's not thin enough. How about this? Still won't open. Holy cow, what the hell, man? Why would you do this so freaking? I wonder if it's unscrewable. Oh, my goodness. All right, there we go. So, it's unscrewable. <laughs> Check this out. This is what you have. Hmm, doesn't really smell. Let's see. Take out one. Is that one or is it three? That's two. Ah, uh, or it's supposed to look like that. I guess that's how it's supposed to look. Um, orange. Uh, I guess let's uh, fire it up because, you know, why not? I'm just trying to find something that is not gonna catch on fire that I can burn this thing in. I have an idea. This probably will catch on fire big time, but it is what it is. You know what? Let's do an experiment. I'll try an experiment and I'll try to start this with this. Let's see if that works. Um, not having success with this striker. Oh, there you go. I think I had it. Just one. What the hell, man? Something's happening. Ha. Huh. So this, I'm not sure what's going on with this, but that did not work. So let's use the sparkler that works. And uh, you know what? I'll actually move the camera so you can see what's going on here. I'm going to turn it around so that I can see what's going on here. Okay. Let's do some fire starting. Huh. Ooh, nothing. I'm gonna catch on fire something else over here. So that's another downside of a sparkler is that freaking sparks fly all over the freaking place. So if you wanna concentrate on something, yeah, might not, wow, okay, so <laughs> does not wanna start. Yeah, so that was definitely 
plenty, more than enough of the spark and as you can see nothing happened. I am really disappointed this is supposed to be highly flammable but doesn't look like it so <laughs> I mean honestly if if you have this and you need obviously sparks don't work and you need the actual fire in order to light it up that's really disappointing because if you if you already have this then what's the point of anyway I'm not gonna complain for too long <laughs> I'll just light this thing up and maybe it will get finally lit up I don't know what's going on hopefully it doesn't catch my house on fire but what the hell man let me just do it like this <laughs> okay there you go let's go what the hell are you freaking joking the What in the freaking hell, man? Okay. <laughs> I'll try it one more time. There you go. Well. Didn't even get hot at all. Let's see. Take a small section, please. Anyway. Very disappointing. If that's what you're considering, that probably would not be a good choice for <laughs> really whatever you're trying to do, whatever you really are considering. Okay, so that brings me to the very last thing that I have over here and now my camera is for some reason crooked, but it is what it is. I guess I will be crooked now. So the very last thing that I wanted to mention here is this fuel less electric lighter I think it's pretty cool I, I I I would like to see something smaller in size I think in my opinion something maybe along this half smaller because honestly if you think about it if you think about it, it, it if this is really is just an electric lighter you probably can make it smaller because really you don't need that much of stuff for uh, fuel or anything like this I understand there are electronics in there that need to be there but one thing that this could be better is the size everything else however is pretty cool now the casing is waterproof all right so you have a actually very very good quality lock here making sure that's nice and secure and you also have a cover there you go for the uh, your charger now why is it in my opinion the best whenever it comes to a certain certain um, aspect uh, of all these fire starters well it's because it is rejuvenable that's not a freaking word because it is replenishable yes that's the word ha! I love it when that happens replenishable freaking thing here on this table right you run out of fuel this one you're done you run out of matches you're done run out of fuel on this one you're done you have still something like this you're done <laughs> the even the sparkler I mean it's gonna last you quite a, a long time but with the use as you can see it strips so it became, becomes less and less and, 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 and thinner and thinner until eventually it just breaks off and that's it you don't have a sparkler anymore this is the only thing that is replenishable it will never go out basically unless you break it or something happens to it or the battery dies or whatever there's gonna be a lot of things that can go wrong with this because these are electronics after all but still being replenishable I think is a huge huge advantage over everything here because I mean if you have been camping hiking you probably understand the um, what is it important not the importance the benefit of having a solar charged solar charging battery something like this very simple they're not expensive I'll, I'll put a couple of them in Amazon links in the description below 
maybe $40, $50, you can get a good quality solar charging. Uh, and I think you can actually, because when it is charging, you can actually see, oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, you can see the lights kind of charging. And you have obviously your several different cords. Now you can find them with the USB um, C, USB C um, adapter. And you can see it charging up by itself because it's bright. So it's, it's charging and it's almost full. It's been in the back for a long time and it's almost full. So pretty good. And of course it has a flashlight, which is again, huge plus to have a flashlight that is being solar charged. So you use this for a week, two weeks, whatever. You plug into this while this is charging free energy. You have that again, replenish. It doesn't take too long to charge and the operation is very simple. All you do is you unlock the top and then you press the button over here and then you press the, this power button right there and there you go. And this, I will uh, demonstrate you what it does. I'm gonna start some more fire <laughs> out here. So you have whatever it is, dry, some stupid like this that doesn't burn or uh, it can be a dry tree or maybe some paper that you're putting up on the wood, on the firewood in order to light it up, right? So you have paper on the firewood, you take your electric lighter, come on, focus on this, there you go, and you got yourself a good, good Good, good fire without any problems, without any hesitation, didn't take any time. I mean, you probably don't even need to worry about charging this thing. Uh, so at the end of the day, <laughs> I, I really want to, I, I was really had high hopes for this thing, honestly, because I was, I was like, I was almost like, because what I expected, I'll tell you what I expected from this thing. Uh, hopefully you're not in a rush. <laughs> what I expected from this is obviously being highly flammable, right? So one spark, you got the flames going. Also actually lasting, so burning for some time, right? Uh, not just lighting up like a piece of paper and then turning to ashes done, but actually burning for at least a few minutes, right? So if you have moist firewood or something like that, you can use a few of these around and it just keeps on burning until the the rest of the fire catches on, um, right? Unfortunately, it's it's not easily flammable as, as it appears. And so I can't really comment on how long this lasts. I guess I have to actually like throw it in the fire or something in order. But then what's the point of having that anyway? Okay, so what can what useful conclusion can we come out to in this video you're probably sitting there you're watching this for 20 freaking three minutes already i'm sorry about that i hope so far it's been useful to you but i'll try to make it even more usable with this conclusion okay it depends on the situation if we are talking about your bug out bag something big 40 50 maybe more pounds on you you have your sleeping arrangement you have your kitchenette, little something something, you have some food for three days, for a week, right, some snacks, you have stuff like this, battery, extra batteries, you have medical supplies, that's your bag out bag, or it can be your camping hiking bag, okay, uh, which in, in, in my experience that's mostly pretty much the same thing, very very similar, depends on what kind of hiking you do, what kind of camping you do, but at the end of the day, your survival situation, the whole point of a bug out bag is for you to be able to camp on the way till you get to the safety. Hopefully that makes sense. So if we are talking about that, if we're talking something about some about something that is big that you're going to carry a few days, whatever, my recommendation, and again, it's a personal opinion. Somebody might disagree. It's completely fine. But my recommendation, would be this little setup and like I said the links are in the description below this is a stove a camping stove as you can see extremely compact for a whole freaking stove right 
uh, cheap, I, I think it's like $17 or something like that, goes into this nice little container to protect from this. Uh, couple of can canisters, I always carry two and you can kind of check how much you have left by shaking. So my recommendation is when you get a brand new, kind of give it a little bit of a shake so that you kind of remember how it, how much, how it sounds, right? And then that's it, check a few times. So that's number one for a bug out bag. Number two would be, of course, your normal lighter. Again, it doesn't take a lot of space to carry, not a big deal, just carry. If you want something like this, hell, get it. It's just as good, if not better, than this, and it's replenishable. So, if you are going with just one, I would say go with this. Both have bows just in case, why not? Now, whenever it comes to the sparklers, I don't have anything against them, <laughs> but as you can see, they're not exactly effective, right? Not exactly very effective. You, you really need something flammable to catch on fire with the uh, sparkler. But it doesn't hurt to have it anyway if you are carrying it on this. Doesn't take any space, doesn't take from a anything from you at all, right? So this is uh, pretty good. Now, of course, you can carry the matches. The matches are kind of a little bit of an, an advantage too. Uh, just make sure that they are wooden okay so that's for your bag out bag but whenever it comes to something small like a battle bag like something i would personally carry it would be really the battle between this your standard fuel lighter and this new one now this new electric lighter i do have to test it out on the field just a little bit more to kind of come to a absolute conclusion yes this is the best but so far of all this for fire starters, this is the best. For fire goers, obviously, you know, if you need to eat, you have the whole stove, the whole kitchen for your uh, bag of bags. So, let me know in the comments below, guys. What do you think? If I missed any other options, I mean, there are plenty of other options, but something that could be applied for camping, hiking, survival situations, let, let me know in the comments below. I would be happy to check out whatever it is, whatever solutions um, you guys have. If you have any requests for reviews or for other kind of videos, again, drop them in the comments below and I'll be happy to address them. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. This was Ultimate Survival Gear. I'll see you guys in the next video.